good morning and welcome back to vlogmas day 15 16, oh, 16. one of those about in Dublin now it is just about half past 11 and we've just had a really yeah we had a chill that morning but I was like editing today's video and Lee was doing some work bits too and yeah then we got ready <laughs> and now we're out and about and we had a nice breakfast well I had a nice breakfast too so I had coffee and leftover donuts so that was like absolutely amazing Sunday morning breakfast and we're just walking into like the city centre now and I think we're gonna go head over to Grafton Street to see what's about, do a little bit of shopping and then maybe head to Dublin Castle. Yeah, Dublin Castle might be on the cards. Yeah, so see what we get up to. You haven't told them the best bit that you found out today. What? You what's know. the best bit? Who are you, who are you stalking today? Ah, uh, I'm not stalking. You were dead today, you're stalking. Yeah, so I was on Instagram and I found out that the uh, Sakona Jewelers are in town. I think very close to our hotel, so you know. If we happen to bump into them, that would be good. <laughs> would be good to understand, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool, wouldn't it? So yeah, don't know if we'll see them, but it'd be cool if we did. Show off the red bottoms, lady. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, like a glove. Yeah. 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 Can't make any stroke. You can't see nerves in you, and you like come to. <laughs> I don't know if I can stroke a sheep. Is it weird that that's not I love these little boys. How could I see them? Are you just touchy, Claire? <laughs> you little nervous face. Go on, touch it. He's backing up now, you're not going to be able to reach him. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh. Should I start recording? Are you going to touch it? Touch it. Yeah, where are we, where are we hunting? <laughs> He doesn't like he's enjoying it, does he? This guy does. Come on, says don't feed. He says don't pet, does it? No, he's just playing it. He's just playing it. So we are out of TGI Fridays now, that's where we have some lunch. Yep. Just been... Out of sheep. Yeah, we've just been into this little manger crib area that you'll have seen. And I fed a sheep. It felt a lot more cough than I thought it would. <laughs> and then there was a donation at the end, but I didn't donate because the donkey looked sad. So I felt mean, so... You didn't, you didn't think the donkey wanted to be there, did you? No, so I didn't want to donate to them. Oh, the eyes! Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we went and had some dinner and now we're just having a bit of a wonder. We're trying some trainers on for a potential Christmas present for me and then I'm trying to convince Lee to get a match in his pair so we can have his and hers. <laughs> because we've just seen a guy with some really cool ones on and then we've seen him in the shopping. Lee liked them, didn't you? Yeah, too fair they are. They are very nice. So... I probably but, should jump on the train, should I? Yeah. But Lee won't ever wear it at the same time as me. Yeah. But I'll make him. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
don't want to go out wearing matching trainers and jumpers and clothing. And, and I do. I really want to do that. I think that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not cool, but fun. My cool and your cool. Yeah. Very so we're just having a bit of a wonder round. It's a lot colder now, but it's dry today at least, isn't it? So. Yeah. At least that's nice. No umbrellas. No, it's dead dry. So I've just been able to wrap up in like hats and gloves and stuff. So I think we're going to keep wandering around for a bit and then head back and get changed for tonight. Have a little cheeky meal. Yeah, I think we're going to stay in the hotel yeah. for the meal. They've got like some amazing like Instagram worthy spots. So <laughs> we'll get some good pictures. What you we, can go, we can go have wine and cheese. Oh yeah, we get complimentary wine and cheese, don't we? With our room. Sure, so we'll go have that. Yeah. Just have a good night. Yeah, have a good night. Oh, well, he's gonna go to disco. What disco? You said we we're gonna go clubbing. No, I didn't. I was joking. We're not going clubbing. <laughs> I don't even think it's picking it up, but they've got this like projector with all these cool lights on the old post office. It's cute, doesn't it? Yeah, we've got all the fire stuff for down the street too. Oh, yeah. Got all the Christmas lights on. I just saw this change, so we hang around a little bit for it to get down because if we stay in the hotel tonight then potentially we might not see like a nightmare. Well we're seeing it right now. <laughs> Big Christmas tree. Okay, so we're just getting ready to go out now and <laughs> he's gone now. So yeah, we just finished getting ready to go out and I'm all dressed up so I'll give you a quick outfit of the day. So this is my amazing Valentino dress that I found in TK Maxx for £29 and it was originally meant to be £675. So yeah, I found the occasion to wear it and then I've paired it with my Stuart Wiseman over the knee, thigh high, whichever way you want to call them, black booties. And then just kept it really simple, just kept my hair straight and slicked it back behind my ears and then still got just my red lipstick on and my little rose gold love heart earrings. And then I don't know if I'm going to take my coat or not, I probably will because where we're eating has got like an outside terrace. So yeah, we think we're just going to stay in the hotel really. We're going to have a bit of and explore because they've got a couple of different bars and restaurants and then like I said they've got like I think it's a rooftop cocktail bar oh and right now we're heading up to the club lounge because they do complimentary wine and nibbles between I think it's half six and half seven so we're gonna head up there now and take in the views and then yeah have lots of nice food and drink and it's kind of nice because we're not going out we don't have to worry about walking back or being super cold so best of both worlds really Lee's having a bit of a fail right now. <laughs> no. I can't get the iron away from the ironing board. So this is a fail on the hotel's part. They've attached the iron to the ironing board. Yeah, just ignore the messy room. They've attached the iron to the ironing board, so you can't get it off. So you have to take the whole contraption to the bathroom to fill it up with water. It's just silly. Have they actually attached it? Yeah, well, it's hooked down there. It's got a hook down here so that you can't. Separate it so that you can't nick it, which like I think like quite a decent. Hotel. <laughs> I don't understand why people have been nicking ironing boards, but have more irons. But. You have to take your ironing board to fill it up. Brilliant. <laughs> so we're currently set up in the private club lounge. I've literally got it all to ourselves, and we've just been helping ourselves to our uh, complimentary wine and nibbles. Got the glasses topped right up before they went away with it. I think it's because I tipped him when we dropped his bag <laughs> down with the Yeah. So now we're just sat in here and it is such a gorgeous room. Like they've got the TV on with like the news on, which me and Lee are currently laughing at. Yeah. <laughs> but it can be news. It's got good views though. Yeah. Up on camera. No, it definitely won't show that. But we might come in tomorrow. Have okay, a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pocket loads of biscuits. And pocket loads of biscuits. <laughs> do you reckon they should do like a breakfast up here as well? You could you could come up and get a coffee to go. I could get a coffee to go. Yeah, so I'll do that. I'll come up and get a coffee to go and I'll try and show you the views because they do have like a little door to the outside there. And it's got like a little balcony so 
I'm guessing it's got really nice views over the city on a morning. So we'll be able to see it, but obviously it's got this gorgeous like purple mood lighting for now. So we're just gonna finish our wine and take it, well, not finish it, we're probably gonna take it downstairs. This man on the TV is really ruining my speech right now. Should probably turn the volume we down. We should probably turn the volume down, it's alright, we've got the control. <laughs> so we're gonna take this wine downstairs to the restaurant and get some food because I am hungry now. I'm feeling it. It's tea time! Let's do this! Just, just gonna watch Lee eat. Since he says his life is not private anymore. <laughs> So we've just finished our tea now, it was super good and I'm already sleepy. We've had some wine and some good food and a long day, so yeah, I'm just fine to like now, we're just going to chill for a bit out of here, have a little bit of a cuddle. I'm going to get dessert. Lee's probably going to get a dessert. When does Lee not get a dessert? Let's be honest. There's a cheeky like apple and coconut crumble, that's all. I thought that and I thought you'd like that. Yeah. Yeah. We can get that with custard. <laughs> well, you can have that. I'm like, I'm done. Okay, so we're just going to sit here and enjoy each other's company a bit more because we've not enjoyed each other's company enough on this trip, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just absolutely chilling. Have you got anything else to report? I have nothing to report, apart from the address for Dublin, which is very nice hotel It's awesome, yeah. You should uh, definitely check it out if you're coming to Dublin. It's a little bit of a walk out, but it's still in the city centre. Okay? So within five, five, five minutes? Yeah, within five minutes from O'Connell Street. It's literally like one straight road to O'Connell Street. So yeah, you should definitely check it out. It is really nice. Christmas memories